Every machine part requires toolpaths for manufacturing. The time needed and their quality directly affects the surface finish and your profitability. PowerLift 2024 brings a new way to achieve high quality surface finishes with the Flowline Toolpath strategy through a simplified process and smoother pass. Flowline creates a toolpath shape which follows the part geometry. Previously, to drive a toolpath calculation, a pattern with four curves was needed to encompass the machined area. This pattern was also required to be embedded on the surfaces, increasing the difficulty of the toolpath creation and potential for failures. Opening the settings form for the first Flowline toolpath, Notice that there's a new drop-down menu defining the method of the step over. There are two options, the first being on surface, which is the original method. By selecting the curve definition, you can see that an embedded pattern is used to create this toolpath. Let's now look at the second toolpath. The step over type has been set to tooltip, which is the new method of creating a flowline toolpath. As before, patterns need to be created. Two are required to define the start and end of the passes for the toolpath, but they are not required to be embedded, potentially saving you time and effort. The surfaces to be machined are identified in this method by adding them to a level or set and picking them in the machine surfaces drop down menu. By comparing the two toolpaths, you can see they both follow the part geometry as intended, but the new tooltip option can give a better result in certain situations as it has done here. Notice a reduction in tool lifts or retractions, meaning the new method has created a toolpath with less fragmentation, which should improve surface finish and shorten overall machining cycle times. The new tooltip step over type has the added benefit of generating spiral toolpaths. This can remove unnecessary toolpath entry points, further enhancing the quality of the surface finish. Currently, the new tooltip option does not support the calculation of undercut regions. In these situations, the original on surface method should be used. This new method for defining flow line toolpaths in PowerBook 2024 makes it easier to obtain the toolpaths you need to achieve high quality surface finishes.